I wasn't going to film this, but it's a pretty good crack. I figured I might as well make a short video of repairing it. Now you're still going to be able to see that crack. I'm not. It's not like I'm going to restore it or you know make it go away. Uh, it's pretty bad. I'm just going to strengthen it and sand it down smooth. It's really rough right now. You can feel it. Uh, you can catch your fingernail in it. So, you know, it's pretty bad. All I'm going to do is just seal the thing and uh, sand it down. You know, I could make it disappear and you wouldn't even see it, but it wouldn't look right with the rest of the guitar, uh, you know, looking like that. So, I'm just going to secure it and I'm still sick as shit. But I'm going to get this glue in this and then uh, tomorrow I'll come back and sand it down, smooth it all out and nicen it up. Hold on. So we just want to make sure it's clean. There's no loose particles or dust or anything like that that would uh, interfere with the bond. And then I'm just going to take this very, very thin viscosity glue. And it is thin. Run it right down that crack. Boy, look at it soaking it up, man. It is soaking it up like a sponge. I hope the camera's getting that. Cyanoacrylate. Uh, there's a big uh, dent right here where I am now. I'm just going to try to build that up with glue a little bit. And uh, sand it down once it gets even anywhere near. Yeah, there. It's filling the crack up pretty well now. This is amazing glue. Uh, like I say, it'll run down in there. I want to get a fair amount down in there, too. We've got the thing clamped together right now. And when I take that uh, board off of it, you know, I want this to hold. I want this to not interfere with that top rising. Can't believe how it's soaking that up, man. It's just sucking it up like a. That's what I like about this thin viscosity glue. It goes in places, like I say, you could never get a wood glue into a tight bond or anything like that. I'm going to go one more. It starts to run down that crack and then it just soaks in. Good stuff. Cure what ails you. Cure what ails it. The house that never sleeps. I guess you can hear uh, you headphone lovers probably. You can hear everything that's going on in the background, TVs, computers, music, uh, you name it, man. I think that's, I think that's enough for that. It, it sucked up a lot of it. It took quite a lot inside the crack. So, you know, that's what we want. I want to run it down in there, all that loose material, 
while it, while this thing's clamped together and when I release this a whole bunch of shit's going to happen okay when we take this plate off the front of it that's going to apply pressure here uh, differently from the way it was before when the top was bellied up and with all those braces pulling it back down you know who knows if it can separate this bigger or you know squeeze it together tighter but uh, we want to be ready for it so I'm going to come back here tomorrow that glue sets up really fast but I'm gonna give it overnight cuz I'm sick baby sick baby and I'm gonna come back uh, tomorrow and sand that puppy down you know just get it where it's uh, at least smooth and uh, you know it's still like I say you're gonna be able to see it and you want to be able to see it you don't want to have a perfect place here and the rest of the guitar looks 70 years old talked to the owner today he said uh, he talked to his dad and it was quite possible this guitar is from 1945. Very good possibility of it from what his dad said. And it most probably is. Um, his name, the owner's name, by the way, I forgot to tell this before and I got an okay from him, is Keith Quillen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Keith Quillen. Keith, man, I hope you like the guitar. I hope it holds together. <laughs> We're going to find out, though, before I send it back to you. But, uh, yeah, man, that's already setting up. I'm going to go ahead and end this and come back tomorrow and uh, sand that down. And then we're going to take this puppy off of here and see how much we gained on that top. I wasn't planning on doing this video at all, but, you know, I figured, what the hell? <laughs> you know? <laughs> see you tomorrow, folks. Actually, before we quit, I want to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I just put that glue on there, let it run in the crack, told you how it goes, uh, where uh, glue, usually you can't get any other kind. Check this out. That's the thin viscosity glue that you see that I put into that crack. Look at that. It has secured the entire ribbon. It's... I'm glad I did that. Now I don't have to worry about that coming apart with this new pressure applied to the top. I gotta clean this guitar all out inside. It's got all kind of crap in there where I've been working on it. You could have never got tight bond or wood glue in there like that. Sinoacrylate. It's good. Well folks, it's been two days later now since I glued the side of this crack in this guitar here. Uh, been sick, man. Big time sick. Still am. Got a terrible, terrible head cold from hell. <laughs> head, chest, too. Uh, but, uh, I just got through checking all the braces. Every brace in the guitar. I didn't film that, but I just got through doing that. Even the ones that I never touched or glued. They didn't need glued. And they're all good. So, uh, and the humidity is uh, maintaining inside of there at uh, 70 percent. Well, it's dropped down to 69 now, but I'm going to leave that uh, hydrometer out overnight and just see what it is here. But inside the guitar, it's maintaining 70 percent humidity. And uh, I'm going to take the faceplate off. It's just going to be kind of interesting to see. Um, Let's do it, man. Hold on, let me, uh, well, yeah, I probably can see okay right there. Uh, the glue is all dry and set up. The faceplate has been relieved. Uh, now, I picked this guitar up on the uh, 7th, I think it was, and the 8th, I put this thing on it and clamp the top flat on the 8th okay and it's been clamped up ever since I mean I have not been easy on that top haven't been easy on it at all so uh, and like I say we got all the glue joints made inside if you remember before I laid a straight edge down through here and it was so close to the belly that huge belly that it had 
you know, it was like uh, maybe, I don't think it was even a quarter of an inch. I didn't measure it, but there wasn't even room for a bridge, let alone a saddle. So uh, let me get the camera in hand, and we'll do that again now. But uh, we've got all the braces fixed and had it clamped up like that for, uh, well, today's, what is today? The 21st, I think. Like I say, I haven't been keeping track of anything except trying to get better. I think today's 21st. It's been clamped up since the 7th. And I can't find my remote. <laughs> you know, there we go. Hold on. Obviously, I'm not finished with the crack yet. But it's, it's glued. It's solid as a rock. I want to uh, level it and come down to some really fine sandpaper so you know, you're still going to see that crack like I said but at least it's not going to be uh, a, a weakness you know or structure damage it's going to be uh, quite strong actually but I can make it look a little better than that uh, you know just sand it down there's a it's really rough I can feel part of it sticking up above the surface of the guitar fingernail still catches on it there but you know we're going to sand it down smooth it out as best we can at least it'll be secure uh, here if you remember before I put a straight edge on the neck and if I can get all this together I think maybe you can see we've gained a little bit not a whole lot but we'll take every bit we can get you know what I mean we have gained uh, well we've gained a pretty good bit actually there with the from what it was before at least the bridge will go under there now I haven't checked it but I'm pretty sure it will it wouldn't before I'm am sure of that uh, maybe there's you a better shot I don't know I don't have my glasses on, I can't see, but I think that's, I think we we gained a little bit there. Maybe not very much, but I do believe that we gained some, you know, enough at least for the bridge to go on it now. So, uh, that'll probably be the next video. I'm going to finish this crack, and then, uh, yeah, we'll make the new next video preparing all this and putting the bridge back on it. I've got the bridge ready already. It's ready to go. It just uh, needs to be connected to a guitar. It's roughed up on the bottom, if you can see that. Yeah, I think you can see it. And it's ready to go. I need to, uh, like I say, I need to prepare this surface. And uh, that'll be the next video. Anyway, onward with the uh, the crack. Side crack. We're going to make that look look a little bit better. Let me turn the guitar up on its side here just for a second. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, I think you can now. It's a pretty nasty crack and all I'm going to do is just uh, flatten down this glue in those high spots. There's another tiny little bit of a crack. I think it might be just in the finish. Right there. I want to smooth this down a little bit. It's this big crack is very rough. So let's do it. Holy shit! I look pretty rough. Still sick. I'm going to show you uh, how I, I'm going to work on this crack here real quickly. I'm going to take a razor blade and just uh, drag it sideways over a piece of metal. I'm going to use this little vise a couple of times. It should be fine. And then I'm going to take scotch tape. You want to take scotch tape and put over both sides of this uh, this blade. Okay, you with me so far? Need another piece for the other side. Uh, people's got a lot of different ways they go about doing this. 
this is just the way I do it it's not necessarily the correct way or the only way but it's a way that works I can vouch for that and there you see tape on both sides the middle of the blade exposed and what that'll let me do let me see if you can see the guitar I know you can't yeah, bring you in here a little bit there you go what that will do is allow me to bring the center portion of this blade right over top of that crack okay while the outer portion of it it's not going to touch the guitar. You just want to keep scraping him down. Well, it is touching it a little bit, but I should scrape up this way. Yeah, and it's okay if it does touch it a little bit because we're going to work it down in sandpaper until it's. Uh, A whole lot smoother than this. Very rough right now. I just want to, like I say, the crack's still going to be there. You're still going to be able to see it, but at least you won't be able to feel it so much. Feel it again your skin. Or, you know, it won't be rough or any jagged points on it. At least that's the idea. This is a good way to fix cracks, smooth them out. That's really bad right there. It's probably the highest place, worst place of the crack. But yeah, like I was saying, you're, it's not going to completely take the crack away. It's just now I'll take some really light sandpaper. I'll start with about. Uh, uh, probably 800 grit and just kind of go over this a few times and uh, smooth it out and uh, let me get sandpaper and I'll bring you back can you see what yeah I think you can see bring you back and show you what we're doing and then we're done with the crack ready for the bridge hold on so uh, I got it smoothed down about as much as I can take off of it it's not uh, flat, but it's yeah, there's no way to get it flat because, like I say, your fingernail it rises up. You know, if you're coming across the surface here, it rises right there where the crack is. And I'm already starting to get close down. I don't want to burn completely through the finish. I'm getting pretty close to it, so I've got to stop there. But at least it's sealed and it's fixed and it's holding together and uh, you know your clothes or whatever is not going to catch on it when you rub something over it it just uh, it just wouldn't look right if you fixed it beautifully unless you redid the whole guitar because you know you look up here and see all these cracks and different colorations and stuff there's all cracks up through here running across this way, tiny cracks. I doubt if you can see them in the camera. Maybe you can. That's all I'm going to do to that for right now. I think we're fixed. And uh, let me see if I can get you to... Well, you can't see inside of there. I showed you earlier where that uh, CA glue ran clear through the crack and up and down the purfling inside here. Uh, you know, all of that has been rebonded too with that uh, CA glue. So uh, there we go. Um, the crack is fixed. All the braces are fixed now. And uh, I'm going to clean this thing up too. I'm going to put the bridge back on it on the next video. And then I'm going to clean it up. It's got like a film of, uh, I don't know what, what it is. Just something funky all over it. Get rid of that. Clean it up. I've been sick as hell, man. The last video, I was just catching this stuff. I thought, you know, it had me, but, oh, man, uh, terrible, terrible head cold in the chest and been to the doctor, got antibiotics and all kinds of crap to take. Just have to give it, let it run its course, I guess. 
uh, and I mentioned about this maintaining 70% humidity inside the guitar but I didn't say that that's way too much the reason it's that high now is because this guitar has been so dry it was so dry when I got it uh, that will I'm not going to put any more humidification inside of it. I'm going to let it settle down for a while now uh, you can look at the top yourself and see that it's way flatter than it was when it came here. I honestly think it's like the back. I showed you those braces that were arched. The back has a little bit of an arch to it. It's not flat. And I think probably the top is that way too. But uh, it's looking a whole lot better, man. A lot better. Looks way better than it did than it did when it came in here. But I'm going to clean it up, put the bridge on it on the next video. I will glue the bridge on and uh, then clean it all up really nice and we'll start doing uh, technical setup to it. So I'm going to go rest. I, I'm I break out in a sweat and then I freeze. And the doctor said it was uh, some kind of funky flu. It's not a cold. I thought it was just a cold, a bad one, but it's, a, it's flu. And fever and the whole bit, man. <clears throat> so anyway, it's going to go rest and uh, take a little break from this. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And I promise you a cue ball fix is on the way as soon as uh, I feel a little better. And her too, she's, been, she's had a cold too. But we're going to do it. We're going to do this, baby. So cheers to you all. Thanks for the new subscribers. I appreciate every one of you people. And I hope you'll hang around. Uh, a lot of good stuff to come. I just got to get better first. Get over this crap, whatever it is. Oh, God. Good Lord. It's powerful. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video, folks. Thanks for everything. Cheers to you. Cheers. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Holy shit. I look pretty rough.